All right, you lot, I hope you're all doing well. So as you may have guessed from the intro, in this video, I'm heading back to Kendricks of Rochford. John got in touch with me because he wanted some new headshots doing like for his website and stuff, and also some group shots of the team down there. And seeing as I was gonna be shooting all this on my Sony A6600 and my Sigma Primes, I thought as usual, it might be something that you guys might be interested in. And this time around, it's actually a proper job. It's not just me taking pictures of my kids. So you get to see what's going on uh, kind of behind the scenes. The behind the scenes footage ain't great. I've got a few little snippets and bits and pieces, but at least you'll get an idea of the surroundings that I'm working in the gear that I'm using and the kind of results that you can get. As you'll see in a minute, as much as it's a lovely shot to shoot in at John's, the scenario for this shoot was far from ideal because it's, it wasn't overly sort of planned out that all the guys would necessarily have a gap in their day to do these photos. So a lot of these group, well, all of the group shots, all of the headshots were all done whilst, you know, the guys are working, as you can see in those little clips coming up soon, you'll see in a minute. The guys are all cutting hair, they've all got customers. So for all the pictures that I took, I'm just kind of nabbing them away, literally for like a couple of minutes, like, you know, no pressure. That's why it was kind of handy. I had the, the, the young chap, Max there, who's kind of the trainee guy. I could pinch him to, to get my camera set up, then get the guys over and snap, 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 you know, get the headshots, get the group shots. But I was very, very limited on time, especially those group shots. They've had to leave all their customers to come over and get the shots done. So yeah, just in case you think that that was all perfectly planned out and went perfectly to plan it didn't you know i'm happy with how the results came out but it was fairly testing so let's get straight into it and check out some of the headshots so as i mentioned earlier i've not got any great bts but i did take a quick couple of snaps so you guys could see what space i was working in and i immediately saw this plain bit of green wall at the back of the shop here which is where I thought I'd set up to do the headshots. I positioned myself roughly where you can see my bag on the sofa there and obviously the subjects I got to stand in front of that green wall and this is how they came out. With each of the guys I got them to stand head on also facing to the left and to the right just so we had some variations in poses. I also told the guys just to mix it up a little bit with some serious shots some smiling shots and if they fancied it some laughing shots as well. I then sent all those images to the guys using Lightroom's new proofing feature and these are the final selections they made. Where I had a, a few spare minutes here and there in between the headshots, I just stuck on my TT350S speed light, pointed it to the ceiling and just grabbed a few quick action shots. I always find that my teal and orange preset seems to work really well in this situation. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description. Moving on to the team shots, I thought I'd just rearrange my setup a little bit and utilise this chair as a bit of a feature. Having Max there was really helpful and he helped me get the camera and the speed light all set up. I was also really chuffed with how this shot came out. Once the guys were in position, I then got a couple of shots from different angles low down to try and make them look a bit more powerful and then a bit higher up just to try and cut some of the ceiling out in all honesty. I also shot these at a lower aperture to increase the amount of the image that is in focus because I wanted to make sure that all of their faces would be in focus. Here's just a quick example of my LUTs in action which pretty much mimic what my Lightroom presets do. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do think about liking and subscribing. All the videos on my channel are all sort of revolved around the Sony camera, the Sigma Primes, and anything I can do with them really. A lot of the stuff that I do is all with, you know, kids, family, friends. I get the odd paid gig here and there, a bit like this one that you've just watched. But yeah, if that's all of interest, hopefully this, this channel will come in useful for you. On another note, thank you to everyone out there that's purchased my presets. If you watch this video and go ahead and purchase them, thank you very much in advance. I really hope they work out well for you and I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.